everyone, this is Grayshot117. With me is fellow co-host Grayshot151. Hello there. Also with me is <laughs> FPS or Elite Wolfie. He can't get his name right. <laughs> Screw you, and I'm trying to find episodes of Breaking Bad. And, of course, our final guest is recurring um, member Adam Axe 666 Damn it, why do you need codes? Why can't you be like all games? Just put this game download done. That was some serious lag before, like, you spoke. <laughs> I'm just pointing out there. Sort of. Sort of. It doesn't matter about the lag. <laughs> anyway, how lag. are you guys doing? Oh, I'm just doing dandy. Just perfectly dandy over here. Haven't seen you in such a long time. Yeah, I mean, so what has it been? A few days? Funny. Right, do you know how gay, you know how they can actually um, stop piracy? Do you know the little disc game things? Do you know, instead of putting it online, download, put it in download. a disc in a box and send it a specific code. What it goes with? Because the people who get if try to take the game without paying it has needs the code, and then they need to go and buy a proper one. Genius. <laughs> I have a game, and um, the piece of paper's gone, what I need for it. Um, yeah, I wish I wrote it down. So anyway, actually, we're recording this the day... Um, we're recording this today of two major releases. Recor the um, Battlefield 4 beta comes out today, and also the... GTA uh, Online? Yeah, GTA Online comes out today. Battlefield 4 beta comes out today? I thought that was been out for a while. So, speaking... Actually, it's kind of funny. It actually came out in your neck of the woods uh, this morning, and every American friend I had on Facebook was complaining, like, why did the, why did the kids get, why did the UK get it? Why? And then literally Battlefield responded saying, oh, it's a rolling release. And Is that it for you? One of them, and I'm, I'm looking at you, Joe Devastate. I'm looking at you. You were like, well, when's it coming out? And they never responded. Fancy, fancy. Um, That's actually pretty funny. Actually, I just noticed too. Pacific Rim is now also on sale on the marketplace. I uh, vaguely remember of a, a recent trailer that uh, Destiny's beta is coming out or has. I don't know. What Destiny? It, uh, I, yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. Somebody... What? Destiny. Oh, I forgot about that. A recent uh, trailer popped up, and it 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 said like. Not today, not today, I on you. In, in, pre order the game at, cer at these selected retailers, and you will get a beta to access. Oh, yeah. You know, y y you want to know something funny? It, EA did the same thing with Medal of Honor. Guess how many days in advance you ha can play the beta for Battlefield 4 if you pre ordered that or, like, got that bad game? 50 days? <laughs> Three days. Three days. That Three then, days of. Bullshite. Yeah, you, know, you have to admit, those three days are probably more fun than the entirety of uh, Warfighter. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, has EA, yep. is oh. EA learned from their mistakes from Battlefield 3? Are we going to melt into the server? I don't I know, I hope not. not. Oh, we do. Well, speaking of failure, oh, Battlefield fans, that melt that better. server. Make it flag. It's bad to compare. <laughs> against GTA right now. <laughs> yeah, the other failure of the day is GTA 5 Online, which, like Battlefield 4, is failing because no one can play it. Literally, out of everyone online, again, the, so devastated and clear. The introduction is failing. Now, uh, everything else can uh, stay the same. It's just the introduction and the cloud servers are failing. They uh, they do acknowledge the uh, p problems and they're trying to fix it immediately. So, yeah. I killed about five people. So far, interesting. Did you um, loot their bodies? Did you steal their, you know, all the money on them and then run to a bank? Because I know their their money. Oh my god, um, killing them and taking their money not 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 a good way. Uh, robbing from a store, it will uh, give you a better <laughs> um, money source. But well, I did interrupt this in one brawling fight. Okay, because I, I know that if you, someone has, like, let's say, $10,000 on them, you can kill them, take the money, and then run to a bank and deposit it. You know? 
But then I can just imagine people like just hunting you down while you play online. Like as soon as you get cash, just robbing you blind and. <laughs> Which, uh, or like stealing your cars and, you know, wrecking everything. The, not, not the friendliest online environment. <laughs> Though I will admit, the, uh, cust uh, I didn't realize you could actually create a character to the depth uh, that the GTA allows. I mean, you create like a heritage and you design the character. It's actually, it's actually not too bad. You know, if you can get past the first race, then it's playable. But apparently out of everyone I know, only three people have gone past that. I learned that, uh, like, when I was racing uh, Lamar at the very beginning, I uh, was able just to jack him with lots of, uh, like, I can jack his bets up to, like, I don't know, what, 10K almost. I, uh, I made him bet, like, $2,000. I bet $0, and sadly, I failed the race. So, it looks like I'm a major Oh, wow. Yeah, guess what? I, I just actually initiated the download for Battlefield 4. Guess who's playing GTA 5? Everybody else? No. Panda. Mushy no Panda. The person who said he was not going to get GTA 5. <laughs> Congratulations. Actually, actually, no. He's playing the multiplayer portion. That's what he's going for. And I'm, yeah. I'd be surprised if people can go on. Because seriously, I know Rock, Rockstar came out today said they know there's glitches and whatnot. And I understand there's a lag. I mean, they sort of billion dollars worth in three days of GTA 5. So there's a lot of people going on and go online. And I'm surprised that, you know, there has been the first thing. We should also content. probably mention GTA 5. Um, it's, yeah, it's sold that much and also, um, kinda big on the, uh, whatchamacallit, um, uh, how do, uh, wait, what was I gonna say this? Um, it sort of was the highest reviewed game ever. Possibly. What, what's it rating at? What's the current 98 rate? 98 on Metacritic. And what was GTA 4? G uh, 97 or something. Oh, yeah. They really outdid themselves in the Metacritic scale. Or, I think it was 98 as well here, but, uh, yeah, it's still up there. It's one of the top, <laughs> at least the top review <laughs> game of the year. Imagine. You're like, okay, guys, our last game was a 97 on Metacritic. We got to do better. <laughs> Bam. Done. But, it's uh, sort of better. Without spoiling anything, how do you guys think of uh, what do you guys think of um, GTA Five? Um, it was, it was. Since I've uh, be, be not been into the GTA series, I don't really have a comment on it. It's moderately good. Uh, I'm trying to do a second run through with uh, using uh, low paid workers for the heist missions, but that's it. <laughs> Yeah, I must admit, it, I, as a person, the last game they played was GTA, or GTA uh, for Vice City. I really didn't know what to look for, you know, what to expect. And I must say, it was a very, very, very good game. Definitely a lot of fun. Uh, currently, like, 70% done with the single player. And, uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm really enjoying it. I really enjoyed, you know, especially the campaign moments, like when Michael... Go on. You and, and, you know... And then uh, when you find Trevor and... Spoiler free alert. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, but it, I will admit it has great moments in the campaign. It, the campaign is funny. I will admit I was laughing and laughing at some portions. And like the the representations they had of other characters, or especially the radio, was just great. Especially the Kickstarter, which made me laugh, which made me stop the car and then like, just listen to it, which was... Uh, inventor gains, was it, $4 million on video game. And then he's like, I'm going to change the product completely. You're like, it, it's just funny commentary and things like that. It's a great, it's a great game. Oh, speaking about it, right over the last month, there's been a, kick, it's, there's been a Kickstarter from uh, Mighty, was it, Mighty Number no. 9? And oh, yeah. So far, and actually, I think it closes within the next, like, 15 minutes. Um, How many contributors are there oh, right now? Oh, <laughs> 31 minutes. It is 66,000 backers, a total of three point, uh, roughly $8 million in uh, Kickstarter with 186000 in PayPal. So right now, it has gotten everything yeah. and should get, in the next few minutes, uh, the last thing, which is online battle race mode. Which is Wait, like what a, was the... so. Uh, let me explain. Okay, so to all those mighty number no. nines be the people behind Mega Man, and they've been doing a Kickstarter for the past month, 
it raised a million dollars in two days and then it's like raised like another million in last in like the last day of the final kickstarter thing but anyway so far they just wanted to make a game similar to mega man but with all the extra money because they originally only asked for nine hundred thousand dollars they've gotten more uh levels i think like four or five more levels more uh challenge mode uh xbox ps4 360 ps3 wii u and pc versions coming out along with ps vita and 3ds versions um support players all sorts of stuff even like a co-op mode all right someone has it someone's mic is coming through really choppy if, if you look at the, mm. if, actually currently right okay. now, it, it but it's kind of funny the amount of stuff they busted through. But uh, they've already taken off the uh, 3.8, uh, 380,000, and yeah. they haven't even busted it out through yet. They're like, no, yeah, no, it's pay. My, they count in um, PayPal, which is 186,000. Oh, how do you tell that? It's right That's below. Me. It's like if you scroll down slightly. But yeah, they've. They will probably reach their mark very shortly in that rate. Yeah. And it's supposed to come out, let's see, I think, uh, when did they say it's supposed to come out? Uh, March 2015? Yeah, in April 2015, they expect, uh, I guess the game to come out. So good, I hope things go well for them. I think they've gotten enough money to do exactly what they want to make the ultimate game. Just hope they can deliver. Well, yeah, this is this is very similar to. I'm not. I don't know the guy. I know Mega Man, obviously. I played. A, I played Mega Man like a few games, but uh, I. The uh, guy's name is Kenji Inafune. The one thing that would be interesting to see is if he actually. Uh, it, what he does uh, if he pulls like a Tim Schafer, which Tim Schafer had his uh, was adventure game and. He went severely, he got a massive, massive budget, more than anything he ever expected. And then he went back to Kickstarter asking for more, for more money. So it's going to be interesting to see if Ken, you know, Kenji and his team can actually stick with the budget and not go, you know, over and, you know, you know more than what they expect. You know, more than the budget, which is, yeah, almost 400, 400 uh, uh, which is 4 million. Well, which is going to be 4 million. Because, uh, what'd they do for Tim Schafer? What'd he ask for? He asked for, like, what was it? He asked for half a million dollars? It was 450, right? And he got three million. Here, I'll look that up. Uh, what was, uh, Tim Schafer? Double Fine Adventure. Yeah, he got 3.3 million dollars, which was 800% what he asked, asked for. Yep. And he asked for more money, which I kind of find really... No, he spent it. That's the thing. They're taking it yeah, at a loss right now. He's asking for more, which I understand the guy's a good inventor. Uh, you know, I hear his games are great, like uh, Psychonauts and Brutal Legend, but still, when you go that far, like that much of a budget, and then, go, you know, run out of money, it's like, what did you spend it on? <laughs> Weed! <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing is, uh, I mean, like, he's insane. So, in a good way. So, I mean, I could someone see it. Um, but, anyway, I will say this. I think he just went nuts. Uh, not nuts. I think he just tried to do too much. And without someone to tell him stop, again, their company just, you know, did more than they could chew. And now they're paying for it, literally. But, um, like anyway. Every company. Yeah. But, anyway, uh, is there anything you guys want to... I mean, uh, as much as I want to continue with Kickstarter... And by the end of this, we'll probably see how much Mega Man makes. Um, is there uh, any, any specific issue you guys want to talk about? Yeah, Terraria's got updated. Yay! Well, I. Uh, well, how about we go to Valve? I mean, Valve just released its what? Uh, the Steam OS. Yep. Uh, the funky looking controller last week, as yep. well as the Steam Machine, which is much better than. Uh, it actually is kind of cool. I like. Half Life Three. It's a Steam Machine. And I signed up for their beta access. Oh, uh, just like oh, uh, he was right. Be a Bungie has confirmed a Destiny beta that will come out early 2014. Yeah. I was right about one. You're right about something. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. 
Can we punish him? Yes, uh, punish me. <laughs> punish me for you being, being right. Yeah, that's how companies do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. But um, actually, so let's see. What are um, I wasn't going to mention. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, with the steam machine, that does look like an interesting idea. My question, though, about it is, they are. This has been like a really early announcement. The controller looks very different than anything right uh, right now than the 360, PS3, Wii U, anything like that. So. But it could actually give. Uh... Uh, some interesting gameplay. Oh yeah, they said it's better precision for RTSs and like real-time strategy, which is amazing because that's one of my favorite genes. So I mean, can't complain there. The question yeah. is the shooters and all you know the big, the big stuff. Yeah, well, it attract the big stuff so the little stuff can thrive. Well, speaking of big stuff, did you guys see the uh, European trademark? For what? Uh, Valve today, or no, I'm sorry, oh yesterday. Uh, filed a trademark oh, please. for Half-Life 3. Oh, gee, are you serious? Let me... Okay, what's, what is it? They filed in Europe a trademark for Half-Life 3. Okay, so what does that mean? Uh... No, 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 what I mean is, like, is it... Trademark what? for Half-Life 3? I mean, it means you're... I mean, that means that there... It looks like if the Steam machine is going to be their, like, living room... What enters the living room... Then what is the, obviously you need a killer app. You need a Halo. You need uh, a Mario. You need a uh, a Kill Zone or an Uncharted. You need Valve people just, to like. Valve just filed for the registration of the trademark Half Life Three in the European Union. Yes. So I mean, if they do come out with a Steam Machine, they'd be suicidal if they didn't come out with something. To support it, something to bring it up. I mean, if they would release the Steam Machine without Half Life Three, they're, they're screwed. Like literally, everyone's gonna be looking at them like, "Are you serious? You want us to buy this, but you won't give us the what we've been asking for?" Dude, dude look at every single other product that they uh, have made. They did well. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm not. And they're oh, I mean, just imagine this. I mean, if you guys, I I didn't know this, but apparently Steam went when the Steam was launched, it was a you could only get Half-Life 2 on it. That was how you got played Half-Life 2. So it'd be interesting to see if, for the Steam Machine, they have Half-Life 3 or Left 4 Dead 3, which was uh, leaked slash confirmed when that uh, guy found, found in the files or whatever. What if they released Half-Life 3, Team Fortress 3, Left 4 Dead 3, Portal 3... Uh... Half-Life 2, Episode 3? Yeah, sure. You mean before or after Gabe has a seizure from all the threes? <laughs> three, 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 no, three, how about, three, 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 three. How about they just do three threes? I think they might do Team Fortress 3, Left 4 Dead 3, Half-Life 3, which will incorporate Portal 3. How about this? The ultimate game collection. The big three. <laughs> Half-Life 3. Fortress 3. More hats. Three, three, Portal 3. All released on the same <laughs> disc, inserted into the console of the next gen or current gen, whatever the gen... There you go. You have three epic games. Orange Box 2. <laughs> you, you do realize... As soon as the that, Red Box. No, three. Red Box. As soon as you do, you guys realize that <sighs> game over, everything else loses. It's just like PS, Sony, Microsoft, everyone just like self, self-destructs from like, we can't compete. Valve is one of the greatest uh, companies so far in the world. I think, I'm, I think one of... I'm not. I'm not going to joke on this, but I think if Half Life Three were to come out, ju- I don't care how good it did or, or critically, but I think there would be enough su- support for that that it could be as. No, I don't want to see as big as like GTA, but it could easily be a like a system seller for that thing. It could easily become the thing that's like the not the. I, I'm not I saying, wish. I'm not saying it outsells Call of Duty unless they do something amazing, but I'm not saying it. That's could, what I was hoping. It'll probably go on par with, like, something like a Halo. Well, yeah, I mean, Halo 3 didn't... I mean, Halo is definitely one of those things that you... I I really think if there was one thing Microsoft really screwed up on is they should have, put you know, held back Halo 4 one more year and had it released with the console. I think doing that would have been a much smarter move. 
you know, given them more time to develop it, which I feel like Halo and some elements. It's are- economically good for Microsoft because if you made it an exclusive to the Xbox One, everybody is are is are enticed to purchase it on the new console. But then their install base would be so low that they may not get it back. Because my my counter to that is yes, that's great for Half Life Two. That makes people buy it. But the install base is so low that you have to also worry about, like, will you sell enough to make it? Yes, Halo 4 would have probably been amazing if they gave given themselves another year. But what would they really have added? Just better graphics? Would they have added? I mean, I would have loved, well, like... Is, I would oh, like they the would have even custom. had the second disc. I would also like custom games that, you know, had more depth to them. I would have preferred a uh, few, a, <laughs> the update that completely rebalanced everything, you know, originally. We that would have been nice. expect Halo 5 in a year. Yeah, I hope. I, I really hope. Uh, you know what? Halo 5. Bungie, or no, not Bungie. Uh, 343, make it happen. I want Halo Wars 2, I want OBST 2, and I want Halo 5. And I want it all next year. Um, oh, she gets swarmed by no, that, that would be suicide, dude. That's suicide. I don't care. I want it now. Valve's going to release a triple pack. Just imagine, like, Microsoft's like, guys, guys, Left 4 Dead 3, Half-Life 3, and uh, Portal 3, or Team Fortress. Coming in. You're all coming in one thing. We need every, we need three games together. Grab three games. Go. And you just get killer. In- Halo anniversary. Um, Halo 5. Um, <laughs> Halo Wars 2, so that we can end this horrible story arc. Yes, yes. <laughs> but anyway, um, was there... Actually... You, even though, like, we've been talking... All right, so last week was that Steambox for her soul. Is there anything <laughs> major that came out in September? I'm being all, I'm being completely serious. GTA 5 came Other out. Other than GTA? GTA 5, GTA 5 mm-hmm. came out. What else came out? Is there anything else coming out in September that was actually, like, attention-worthy? Um, no, not really. No. Unless you, like, unless you can't, um... Everybody... Call of Duty everybody... Ghosts, um... Announcement thing? No. I mean, like, an actual game. Everybody kind of agrees that if you compete against GTA, you're, uh, you're, you're dead. The only... So, um, the, the next there's... game I can think of that's coming out, I, th- I, I again, quote me, but that's is has... Battlefield 4 and that also coming out at the same time as Batman Arkham Origins. And that's the end of October. Also, um, going on to in two weeks and one week. Oh, well, two weeks. <laughs> Uh, but otherwise, I can't think you of another game uh, that's coming out for October. The two weeks is uh, actually uh, a good question coming out. November is like the uh, when the pivotal point of all Creed the games. Out? Oct- uh, end of yeah. October? Okay, that's... Go on, on X and Y. Oh, that's coming out in the next few days, right? Oh, that's... Yeah. No, in Pokemon X and Y, the 26th. 13? Oh, is it? No, it's not the 26th, is it? Um, yeah, it comes out 16th. 16th, that's it. Yeah, it's 16th. I knew it was in the, I knew it was in the, the, the teens. I just couldn't remember what day. But yeah, I'm, a, I'm excited for that. I don't have a 3DS. By the way, that, oh, you know that friend that has a 3DS? Yes. Did you know? Ask I do. I have a 3DS so I can play Pokemon X and Y. Oh, God. I hate you all. <laughs> I don't have Good a theme. 2DS. I might get a 2DS, but I rather. So you're gonna buy. Oh, yeah. You're gonna wait. Which oh, yeah. one are you buying, X or Y? It's a sword. Are you? Does it? I don't know. I mean, it, it does it matter? I would say Y. Yeah. Can't it be an Y? X game? Matter? Does it? I'm X a guy, so I guess I'll go with y. X. I don't know. Uh, does it? Does, no, does no, it no, matter? Dude, uh, y has the more impressive legendary Pokemon. Oh, then I'm getting Y then. I always buy Run the Legendary one, because that's always like, which one do you buy? Oh, it's the one that looks cooler. <laughs> if you literally look, I like because it's a winged dragon sort of type thing. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's, it's a, a dark flying. Yeah, it's a dark sight. I'm sorry, it's a dark flying, my bad. But it looks awesome. Yeah. Oh, oh by the way, it also depends on which one has the Tyrannosaurus. As both the, uh, Oh, both? Okay, that's great. Because uh, the ter- ter- the Tarantum, was it like a dragon rock? That thing looks freaking badass. Um, Did you guys 
Did you guys see the uh, little post or the GIF or not? Maybe not the GIF. The uh, picture they had with that the the dinosaur repl- the Pokemon uh, replacing Jurassic Park T Rex. No, but that's. Not I funny. don't know if they already an, uh, answer this one question, but uh, I hear echo from Tyler. Um, <laughs> basically, did they uh, say anything about the? The uh, new type of Pokemon, like fairy, backwards. yeah, fairy. It's super effective like, against yeah. dragon. Yeah, but uh, but I'm gonna see the wind. This is yeah, it's gonna be dark. That's changed. Oh, yeah, like that. I screw it. Oh. It's also super effective against. I was it dark and ghost, which what breaks the uh, which breaks the. Uh, n- uh, no, no, no. It's gonna have weakness to dark and ghost. I think. Okay, because uh, I remember the... Uh, <laughs> right, let, let me go get the, the stats thing again. It's so no, they, confusing. They said something about Spiritome, because it was... It, if you guys remember from the other game, Spiritome was a Pokemon that was dark and ghost, and it, it was unaffected by... you. It, there was stu- Nothing was super effective against it. It was completely... And it was unaffected by a ton of different moves, like uh, fighting, uh, psychic. It was like like one of the best. And now they had they had to get something in there to break that. How how, how to beat Spiritomb? Teach a Pokemon Foresight. Oh look, I can hit you. Oh, it's I- not unbeatable. You got moves. What help you do that? Oh, I never knew you could do that with Foresight. Oh, that makes. <laughs> it's it's to stop me. It's to stop them ghost type being overpowered against normal Pokemon. Well, maybe it's not overpowered, but nothing's super effective. <laughs> Be genius. There is a was it two five because they don't read into it. <laughs> was it bronzer that the flying like the steel psychic that levitates? Yeah. Oh my god, that thing! I remember that. That's the last Pokemon. I, I mean, that thing. If you got it, it was just like yes. This thing will last me for some time. This thing is incredibly hard to beat. Because it, then it's only weak against fire. Because dark is not fighting and really against steel. And it's just affected by um, fire, dark. Um, it's a perfect against fighting. Well, it receives normal damage from fighting. I think. Yeah. Just oh God, we've gone on Pokemon tangent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Okay. Hey guys, but we we're going to leave Pokemon and we're going to do more games. Yes. Okay. So guys, uh, there's a new Pokemon GG. What is the game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, it's Dixon. I just shoved a stick into a fox's tail. That's smart. So you think uh, Pokemon <laughs> is not a game? All right. Enough. Oh yeah, remember Sylveon's move set. It's gonna have a good one, I hope. Why are you talking? So, um, is it. Alright, so I guess we'll go over. What are actually. Since it is actually October, it's October 1st, more recording this. Um, what are you guys excited for coming up? Is there any specific game or anything? Uh, a new mic for you? <laughs> My mic is fine. My brother needs a new one. He actually got one from Amazon, it just broke. Like right now? Yeah. Hey, hey, mine is fine. Double checking the connection, though. I think we. I think something may bad happen. But continue. No, the game I'm looking forward to is uh, Battlefield Four. That one I'm looking forward to, and Pokemon X and Y. I'm, I'm choosing between one of the two. Go on, Adam. Adam X. Pokemon in my battlefield. Yes. Yeah. I have no games for uh, looking forward to at all since I'm playing GTA. Prob- uh, uh, it, it's still there, Watch Dogs, but eh. Right now, actually, for myself, I'm looking to buy when they're on sale Company of Heroes 2 and uh, Total War Rome 2. Um, but I guess if we're going on console, then Battlefield 4... And or uh, Batman Arkham Origins. I love Batman. 
I, I just you. hope I... it's good without Rocksteady. But, uh, yeah, I'm actually... Let's see, um... But, Adam X, have you said anything, or...? Um, yeah. Now, back on to the damage type. You were right, it re receives a 0.5 with, uh, damage. So, I'm sorry. what? I thought I couldn't hear you, the sound is you being wrong. What was that? <laughs> but it does receive... Uh, I... A, by one of my favorite types, does receive more damage from steel. I'm, <laughs> I'm poison, and well, steel poison Pokemon make it. Interesting. It's over. <laughs> Yes, our Pokemon discussion is finally over. For those wishing the I knew God of War gonna be a fairy, yes. Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> that blooming water mouse. Let's electrocute it again. What's the talking thing about that? It's not not gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> but um actually so have you guys been been on our channel lately? Going on it right now? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Um, so oh, actually, so just letting you guys know, I guess I'll uh, we'll, I'll just go out, get off the responses you now for future what updates. What you've been doing? But just letting you know, guys, just letting you know for future updates on our channel, um, Rise episode one should be coming out shortly, hopefully within the next week. We're really excited about that. Also, we have uh, next uh, next week we're going to start rolling out some special stuff and with Penn State. Um, I have a Let's Play coming out uh, next week involving Penn State. Yeah, basically, if you got here's a little tip: if you're in Penn State and you and my brother comes asking you about you know freaking videos, yeah, stop him. Get ready to find out what happened because uh, he when he thought of this, he's like, uh, uh, I'm gonna have some videos with my uh, cohort. Oh, by like, the oh, way, uh, Mega Man just broke its four million dollar boundary. But go on. Any case, uh, so yeah, congrats, my name number nine. So when I heard about this, I was like, okay, you know, that sounds interesting. Then I asked him, what games are you gonna make him play? Oh, Outlast, for game of the like the like the year. I was like, what else? Like Slender the Arrival. Like, oh, you you just want to torture them, don't you? Yes. <laughs> yes. It was worth it. <laughs> Two hours of them playing Slender the Arrival. It was amazing. <laughs> also, freaking here's my brother. He want he gets everyone in the freaking dorms. He tells them, "Hey, GTA 5 is, you know, you guys can go play it in the freaking uh downstairs in the main lobby." Freaking everyone shows up. My brother tells them, "Okay, there's just one rule. You just have to be go crazy." They're like, "What?" They're like, "Yeah, just listen. I'm recording everything you're doing. So, yeah, go nuts." <laughs> Which is why if you see fails or stuff coming out like our GTA fails, uh, coming out, those are the small clips, the funniest bits from uh, all everyone in the dormitory going nuts in GTA 5. <laughs> Let me guess, lots of RPGs? <laughs> no, lots of helicopters. <laughs> oh, God. We figured out how to spawn them. Uh, what else am I doing? I'm also playing Gang Vids with RA, so my fellow employees, I'm getting videos with them who've never played games before. Hopefully, I'll be releasing them as specials. Not probably Let's Plays, but their own special thing on the weekend. Look forward for that. Um, actually, I'm, I, or, I, or I might be doing a full week of just that, but, you know, I'm still looking into it. Um, what else? Maelstrom is finally making his own videos. They should be coming out yeah. soon. Um, he's just been having some issues and audio problems with them. And, uh, what else? Oh, we have a, we, we're, we are making a website. Yes, the modernsarchive.com. Um, it'll pretty much... Uh, we're still trying to get everything up and running. Um, we're using GoDaddy as part of the, uh, well, we'll just say right now, uh, Rooster Teeth is having a, like, a, a deal with them, so you can get a domain for, like, three bucks a year, so. Damn. Can't beat that. But anyway, uh. Go that web right now, all you hundred subscribers. Yeah, 100 subscribers. Thank you. All right. But yeah, and it's a test. We'll be doing it over the next year. If it, you know, if it's successful, then we'll continue it. And if it's not, 
Well, it was three bucks. Uh, it was three bucks put to good use for a test, and you can't beat tests. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, uh, if you guys go go to the channel, put up like tons and tons of get some activity up there, and uh, yeah, if you just want to donate some money, uh, just let us know, and we'll be happy to accept it. Yeah, donations for the monsters. Very fun. <laughs> Worst idea. <ever. laughs> Not the worst idea ever. One of the worst ideas ever, but not the total worst idea ever. Maybe I should have done it. But, uh, yeah, I, I think that pretty much wraps up this assembly. Uh, oh, with five minutes to go, uh... Oh. Should we talk well, about more is... Pokemon stuff? Hey, uh, this is brought to you by Breaking still... Babs. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's talk about Breaking Bad. Uh, I haven't seen it, so we're not talking. Why are about we Breaking talking about Breaking Bad? That concludes the Breaking Bad portion of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being serious here. Why are we talking about Breaking Bad? That's a very good question. I don't know. I let I'll let you know when we figure that out. What the <laughs> heck? Why is Breaking Bad coming up on my screen? <laughs> What is going on? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> okay. If you guys want to know what just happened? We just got My Little Pony just came up on our screen. And it, it came as Walter White was the pony, and he was giving out crystals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, breaking bad. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> We're done. We're done? Okay. So uh, thank you all for listening to this uh, exciting episode of the Assembly. Uh, this is Yeah, we'll, we'll start to get things back to normal. Um, right now I'm busy with a lot of college stuff and so is my brother, but as soon as things calm down we'll give you a full detailed Assembly going over things and hopefully a larger cast. But thank you guys for coming. Yeah, so thank you for breaking back this in your code sleep. for Adam Axe. Uh, it's going to be enjoyable. And, uh, I'm done. You're done? Okay, okay. Anything you two want to say before you go, other than, you know, Breaking Bad and My Little Pony? <laughs> no? Hands! No. Give me your hands! <laughs> Let's kill you now. And we're done. See you guys later. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to end this sharing screen bullshit. See you guys later, everybody. It, it, um, it can turn it into two ways. You can turn it into a console, and you can turn it into a workstation. Yeah, exactly. My the, mine's all around. I'm not going to be really using my... Well, I will when I go to college, but... My main thing with the... Uh, con, with the uh, When it comes to the consoles versus the um, uh, computer... I'm going to buy consoles still for exclusives. Mainly oh, for yeah, exclusives definitely. and for like where all my friends are at. Because, you know, lots of my friends can't afford to get, you know, that $1,500 gaming computer that can, you know, to where you can see the nipples on the Crisis guy. On oh, his yeah.